Hey Glam Fam, so today I'm going to be sharing with you perfume hacks or perfume tips and tricks. I am super excited about this because I am a big perfume person and um, I love smelling good. So I've used these hacks for a while now and I really know that they work. So before we jump into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Beauty by Josie K. If you are new here, hello, my name is Josie. I put new videos out every single week and I also wanted you guys wanted to let you guys know to please hit that bell notification I know a lot of you guys aren't getting my videos and I know it upsets a lot of you guys um, something's going on with YouTube right now so to get my video notifications all you have to do is click the little bell next to the subscription button underneath this video it's super easy and um, you guys will be updated more often and know when I actually post a video. Let's jump right into this video and start with the perfume tips. The first tip is one of my favorite things and they were kind enough to sponsor this video. If you guys have never heard of them, I'm talking about Scentbird. And if you don't know what Scentbird is, it is a subscription service that you pay for monthly and you get a brand new scent every single month which is amazing. I really love Scentbird because of the simple fact that I get really bored with my perfumes. Hence why I don't buy really expensive perfumes, at least the big bottles, um, because I get bored really fast unless I really 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 like the scent. Like my scent that I wear the most often is Oh So Sexy by Victoria's Secret and that is like, that's the only scent that I haven't got tired of. You get this little case which is really cute and it comes with a perfume of your choice and um, it's actually a really nice size perfume. It is much bigger than the little testers that you get at um, Sephora or Ulta. Um, so how this works is you twist and it comes up with the sprayer and then if you want to look at the perfume you just take it out of the case lift and then this is up and then you spray hmm all right um and then you twist for it to go down which is really nifty and perfect for like in your purse this is a 30-day supply scentbird partners with designer brands and niche brands so you don't have to go through the awkward stage of committing to a big bottle you can literally date the perfume before you make that big commitment and the fragrance comes right to your door also now you can upgrade your subscription service and get more than one perfume a month which is really cool as well if you guys want to try Scentbird out I will have a link down below for 30% off your first purchase and if you click that it will take you right to the Scentbird site number two if you guys didn't already know this I'm gonna tell you just in case you didn't but you're supposed to apply your perfumes at places called pulse points so that is in your elbow behind your knees under your midriff on your neck and on your wrists. This will actually help your scent last longer than just spraying it on your chest or your clothes. Hack number three, or tip number three. I guess the first one was kind of a tip. But number three is I like to spray my hair ties with my perfume. I don't know if this is just me. I just do it because I don't know why, but my hair ties keep the perfume longer than anything else that I spray. So I just spray them. Then you have your hair ties on your wrist as normal and they smell amazing. <laughs> and if you do it right before you put your hair up, spray your, your hair ties, let it dry, and then put your hair up and your hair smells good. Fourth tip is to always moisturize your body before you apply your perfume. And this helps because it can actually absorb better into your skin when you are well moisturized. I like to moisturize my whole body, but if you don't want to do that, you can always just moisturize the pulse points of your body and then spray the perfume on those pulse points. The fifth tip 
that I use a lot is if you apply some Vaseline to your pulse points before you spray, the Vaseline actually helps the perfume scent stay longer. Which leads me to the next hack is don't rub your wrists together. You know you see people spray and then rub their wrists. Actually, rubbing your wrist makes the perfume smell go away faster. So all you have to do is spray onto your wrist and let it dry naturally. For I don't know what tip number I'm on, seven I think? Tip number seven is don't be afraid to mix your perfumes. What I like to do is I like to cut little strips of papers, kind of like the testers in the stores, and I like to spray and mix perfumes to see which ones go together and which ones don't. Tip number eight <laughs> is to familiarize yourself with fragrance lingo. So I don't know if you knew this, but there are different kinds of fragrances that last longer than others. You can look this up online. I'm not going to do like a whole section on it. There are different levels of essential oils and the scent in different fragrances that make them a different perfume um, type. And sometimes the fragrance is only supposed to last you know, two hours. And then others are meant to last all day, like 12 hours. So just familiarize yourself with perfume lingo so that you know what you're shopping for. And that is it for my perfume hacks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification because if you don't, you won't get the notifications on my channel. I also have a Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They're also at Beauty by Josie K. And I really, really hope you guys will go follow me over there because I chat with you mostly on those platforms. Also, don't forget to check out Scentbird in the description below. And that is it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!